I went to New York. I just started dating my girlfriend, Becca. This is so uh, this is September, October. We start dating in November. I start writing about her like the week before we start dating. And the first song that I write is California Fire, which is about me being terrified of her. This is on November 11th, which I think I intentionally tried to write a song about her that day because 1111 was like my number. So I wanted to like give it some like, like this is, this is special and like fortuitous, you know? Like this is, you know, the person. Um, so I think this is, I forced my hand a little this day, but it, it came out nice. I also remember having had a horrible cold. So the line, <laughs> the line, it starts out with she had, she's got a fever, but I think I started writing it as I've got a fever. Cause I literally had a fever when I started writing the song and then just kind of took that and made it into a little metaphor. I, I laughed and also was a little concerned that this was an offensive song because of all the fires in California. When I wrote it, I was like, I don't know if this will work, but... I remember feeling very, like, Brucey and, like, empowered with this. She's got a fever And she's burning your shit down The second you leave Absolutely vicious line. You can tell how much I'm enjoying singing it too. It's like so much fun. I can always tell because I like scoop everything long when I'm like enjoying it. This one all came out in like one go. For that, for that bit, I remember looking up what <laughs> trees are able to like withstand fire. So I didn't actually know that. So I was like, I'm sure I said, a, I like wrote cedar and then I'm like, I actually don't know if cedars can like with if they're like good and like fire retardant and then I looked it up and they were which that was a happy accident but I'm terrified I'm golden grass another California fire is it what I asked for I don't know Sounding my own horn. Uh, yeah, I I love, I, I just remember it. I literally was like, it was one of those songs where like the chorus happened and I was like, I'm terrified, I'm a pile of leaves. And it all just like in one go to the point where I like laughed when I wrote it because I wasn't expecting say, to say another California fire <laughs> isn't what we need. Um, so yeah, that one was, that one was a pleasant surprise and was very fun and definitely made me feel better when I was sick. I had a hard time finishing this song. It needed like an extra bit. And actually I wrote, I ended up writing, it's like this bit I wrote at the end that ended up saving me when I was recording it. Cause I forgot, I forgot I wrote it. And then I listened back to the voice memos and heard this bit here. I think it's, it goes like, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. And I actually have such a hard time playing it. I don't, I can't remember what I did. So I, I had to relearn it to record it in studio. And then I just tried to perform it the other day and I forgot it again. I can't. Just such a nice little like, just like lightens all of the 
like, like chuggy spruceness of it. I was trying to write words over it, but then in studio I just decided to make this like really big melodic moment with it. But um, yeah, that's that's it's two it's two pieces born three days apart, and then that's that's what became the song. California Fire, I came in with a demo, and then we again tried to replicate the demo, and then it felt too bandy, Fine. and so I Should we, we ended we ended up going yeah. We went kind of in an opposite direction as Becky. This is, this is my demo, my garage band demo. She's got a fever. Just feeling myself. And she's burning your sheet down. <laughs> Another weird she's piano. And then I didn't like it. So first version. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that is a nice bit. Oh no. She's got feeling. That's you. Is it? Yeah. Maybe. It is. <laughs> Yes, no, we talked about it. We arranged it together. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, we like practice this one a lot. This is one of the really sweaty days. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. But then it was just kind of like, not really yet. So it, I, th what I was saying about going in the opposite direction of Becky is it, it actually needed to like loosen up and open up more rather than be so Rocky. tied in. Yeah. Right. So we ended up with really washy. This has a, some really nice bits in it. I really love this one. She's got a fever. Took me so long to get a good vocal though. And she's burning your shit down. I always feel so cool saying shit in the song. <laughs> yeah, she's got a fever. And she ain't afraid There's a Faith Hill influence in this. Oh yeah. Somehow, if you can't please her, just at the very end. And I'm terrified. Always will stack guitars, maybe for the rest of my life. Say that now, I'm never gonna do it again. I really love this little keys part. Which it starts to get like, it really blooms. And I lay little ride. This is the floor, so this is. Oh, that's when we're doing the floor. She's tapping the floor. I think it was hitting it pretty hard, actually. Okay. <laughs> I remember Carpal Tunnel. Wait a minute. That's me playing this one. Right. With a, like a. With a stick or something. Yeah, or like a pen, I think it was like oh, it. Right. We tried a lot of different, I hit it with everything until we found the right sound. So I do love that little like ride alone in the dark. Oh yeah. So nice. It's just, it gets cool down there. Yeah. Obviously playing them because they're not very tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, it's so nice when it gets in that bit. Here, will you play that with everything in? Yeah. Back 
back up a little bit more because it, it's so like everybody's like yeah. tiptoeing for snacks in the middle of the night and then we have this like giant so nice you're playing really quietly It felt very like, I know one of my sonic references for this was a headspace that I would listen to to go to sleep because I was too anxious from COVID. And it was like a, it was one of those like 360 soundscape places. I told you about this. And it was just, you're out in a desert by a fire. And you heard this like big wind that came like over your head. And you could hear it start over here and it just did this big like, over your head like a big desert thing. I'm using that, but in the, that's my reference for the, just play the cymbals. So we mix them. Oh, that's right, there's so many, the wind. So I played them with that in mind. Which is like four versions of similar thing. Along with these. <laughs> yeah, that's with the big like rumble on the bottom. And then all together, they sound so nice in the track, but. <laughs> I remember Cal would like <laughs> speak into the room to be like, is that okay? Or like something like that. But he'd sound like he was in like a deep tunnel. So I'd be like, Cal! And he'd be like, hello! <laughs> it sounded like we're on like. And then I add in, I was actually out in the fire, desert, yeah. Right. And I took my own little voice memo and I had to, that's right. and then I like held it up in the air. <laughs> I can see it, that's so nice. So that's me like holding it to the fire and then like, I just like put it up in the air, like cold winter desert kind right. of thing. So nice, so such a strong theme in that one. Oh yeah. Came together. Very on the nose, California right. fire, sampling a California fire, reference is a desert fire. <laughs> we were really going for something in that one. Right. Um, what have we got here? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Sam, put those with the, all of the electric guitar stacks. Mm -hmm. Super nice. Mm -hmm. 